Hello, this is the Up First team and we're back with more data collection management videos. Now in this video, we are going to tackle the topic of how to win and top the results in online polls. Before doing anything, we always recommend knowing how the poll was made. So for us, there are two possible ways we think you should take note of. First is the GET or GET method. Now, this method has been promoted as a way to stop websites from tracking your IP address, but hidden cookies may still be able to track you. So in order to break this, you have to really select that refresh button multiple times and on the location bar so that they cannot track you. Posting links everywhere and receiving links is not a way to promote a new contest. It would be flagged as spam by major social media platforms, which could then result in low quality votes for your contest. There's also a lack of accountability, so take care when doing this. Next, we have the POST or post method. Now this method refers to how many parts the request has and how those parts are sent. Some methods require the old HTTP protocol, whereas others use the most secure HTTPS protocol. You may be able to use the back button on a page if cookies aren't being set. So to disable the cookies, go into settings and turn on use browser settings for cookie management. If you're using Google Chrome, then click settings and go to options to find this setting. Now, there are also some other key terms we want you to take note of when trying to maximize the effectiveness of your poll. One of them being computer macros. Macro scripts are programs that are set up on a computer that follow a set of clicks and ampersand symbols, which are keyboard strokes. If you have a running system, a macro can be created to run through voting cycles automatically like a human. So combining VPN software with a tool like, let's say, Hotspot Shield, this can break most non-email verification tasks. Next, there are outsourced votings. Now, these companies also include social media bots, which translate a podcast managing polling platforms and take care of other small tasks, which would be laborious to handle yourself. You can hire these cheap workers with the ease of a simple phone call. Amazon Jobs are notorious for using incentivized workers to vote on whether or not a product should be available. This is against their policy, so you will have to go somewhere else for your script. Upwork is the perfect place for your needs as they have the freelancers working in many different countries and charge less than Amazon does. Lastly, we have proxy voting. A proxy vote is when you authorize a third party to cancel a ballot that you would usually send to the central office, and they will then fill it on your behalf. Many marketers recommend using this strategy during personal electoral endeavors. This includes having someone share your public posts and votes with friends, without choosing who to vote for personally. This idea is absurd because it would require a large number of personal details in order to be voted on. Would this be considered coercion? Not really, because someone has to vote on their behalf. And that's all we have for this topic. Hopefully this helped you better manage your polls and any online forums you might be working on. Do like and subscribe and be sure to check out the rest of our channel using either the link on the upper right corner or the right below the video. See you next time.